1,000 feet, turn left onto South Main Street. Turn left onto South Main Street. In 800 feet, turn right onto US 195 South. Turn right onto US 195 South. Continue on US 195 South for 15 miles. Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am in the city town of Coleman, Washington State. Population 34,560. This is the biggest city closest to Moscow, Idaho. Moscow, Idaho, the tragedy where four college students got brutally stabbed inside a home during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Coleman, Washington. You go out of Moscow, Idaho, and right over the border, right over the border into Washington State, you get a big city here. Wondering if, you know, whoever did this stabbing, because police have not made any arrests yet, haven't publicly identified any suspects, haven't found the murder weapon, and they are looking for a white Hyundai Elantra, 2011-2013 model. Now, this city here, could the killer or killers came from here? I know there's a lot of people that live here. Possible Hyundai Elantra maybe in this town. I'm going to be looking around this area in Pullman. A lot of unanswered questions. I am out. I am out in the field. Boots on the ground. You can see snow. Snow on the ground here. It is very cold out here. It is almost dead. Winter starts on the 21st of December, I'm out here a, a month and a few days after the stabbings happened, out here in the scene, looking around. So subscribe to my channel, like, 
hit the notification button. I'm going to be looking around Holman area, looking around for Hondas, maybe trying to see and talk to anyone that might know some information about this case. Again, this is the biggest city closest to Moscow. A lot of activity, a lot of businesses, a lot of hotels, Walmarts, uh, big retail you know, stores that are closest to Moscow. Possibly Home Depot or Lowe's are, are in this area. Maybe that's where the knife came from, possibly. So stay tuned. I'll be posting more videos later. Whoever did this, authorities will catch them. It's just a matter of time. Anybody with Coleman ties connected to this case remains to be seen. I'm out here. Everybody be safe. God bless. Praying for the victims and the victims.